cool. Right, there isn't really that much to get in here except this guy. Oh shit. Knock knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. Sorry. Cool. Awesome. So, yeah, you will need this. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Not bitter. Um. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. <laughs> Juvenile. Uh, then I think you could do come back for some stuff in here later, but you do also take this interesting bottle. What's this? Ah, does. I'm not very pockets it before actually asking what it is. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians. The former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. Cool. Right, so, let's get out of here, because pretty much... Yeah, I think you do come back for some stuff later, but right now... Ooh. Stuck at the door! Um, It's pretty much all you need for the time being. Oh, and that thing. Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Oh, look at the little Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Cool. Right, so let's just... If you just go this way, you'll pretty much wind up at the beginning of the forest anyway. Sorry, awkward run. Hey there, Threepwood! Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? Oh my god! Pox of LeChuck! The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of blood check. Nah. Two on the nose, not a pizzazz. Death cloud is punchy. More in your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> worried face. Right. So, uh, I say. Alphabet sale. I like the new music now. We have the, the death cloud. If you go this way, you'll find McGee. Speak to him. Hey there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock McGee. Uh, you me? couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could you? Teacher! Um, can you help me with these crazy winds? Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? I. I've been training as <coughs> some of these zany zephyrs since I <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I, but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stumped me toe. But I went to that butcher they saw. He cut me leg off. Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41. Started up a long term relationship with a cake of grog. Good choice. Um, uh, well, we've got the age of the scroll, so. Oh, actually, I think maybe you need to show it to him. Long. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Yeah, I think if you show it to him. Do you know anything about breaking unbreakable bottles? Touchy. Okay, maybe not. Never mind, forget him. Doesn't matter. I don't really why know why they give you that information because I don't I 
I don't actually think you need to speak to him. Now, him speak to this glass blower. I'm back. Hi. So you are. So you are. Um, know anything about breaking unbreakable bottles? It's a bit of a tongue twister. Can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! There isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Hey. Is that a threat? Yeah, you wanna go some? Yeah. I thought so. Anyway. We need to distract him so we can get his, uh, little unbreakable bottle thing. So, if you go to your ship now. Hey. Climb up the anchor chain. Welcome aboard, sir. Then Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. No, oh, sad face. Uh, you can say anything. I really don't. Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. Ew, that's really quite gross. Uh, right, cool. So if we kind of because you can't actually obviously sail off just yet. Um, but what you can do is take this cheese. A cheese wheel, monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. Nice. And if you fire the cannon. Hey, it's one of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa. Wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. Oh dear, the brony is sad! Right, okay, now we jump off the boat. In whichever way you so please. Right, now, if we run, run to Cryptic's place. Look what he's left unattended! <laughs> I'm exciting! Yeah! Wait. It's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate care. Nice! So, if we open up our inventory, and use. I think two songs, like two parts of the music, are playing at the same time. I think there's something a bit wrong with it. Oh well, doesn't matter. So we use them together? What? Okay, oh. let's break some bottles. Hey, knock it off, hand! Ow! Looks like I'm gonna have to get my hand under control if I wanna break this bottle. Ah, okay. Cool. I, I was about to. Th I was thinking that. I was like, I'm pretty sure you do meet decision in this in the first part. And I was thinking, when do you go? Like, surely you can you can do it without meeting him. But nope. Here we go. So this is a uh, decision's place. Look at the sign. The doctor is in. The doctor is in. Yeah, yeah. So if we just oh, another stall for the door. Bonjour. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe. Former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zutala! Zutala! Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! We must investigate at once! Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Awesome. Um, you can pretty much ask him anything, but uh, ask him about Sponge. 
A friend of mine says that my hand is cursed with a voodoo pox that can only be cleared up with a magical sponge. <laughs> voodoo? <laughs> voodoo is nothing but unenlightened baby jabber for the ignorant and superstitious masses. The only path to true knowledge is via a rigorous scientific inquiry, preferably conducted by a suitably aristocratic mind. So my pox... Is nothing more than a disease. A disease we will cure with science! Science! It's basically Bill Nye. Um... You can ask about the winds as well. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare, but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Ah, uh, forget I asked. <laughs> well, uh, actually, I think you need to talk to them to say everything. So how did a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph <gasps> and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were edited days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in the scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. The king was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Hand. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Hey! But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> We don't want to cut off our end with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au revoir. What a loon. But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Cool. So now you're in the chair. Um, right, I need to figure out what's the best way to do this. Right, if you, you can use the arrow keys, or I think you can, oh no, it's touching the top. More, um, get the key. Feet don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Right, and if you turn, I can't have you can. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. <laughs> Smart monkey. Yuck, bad monkey. After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Nah, jack in the box. Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> That's the universal symbol for yes. Oh, look at this little metal tail. Right, so... Right, if you come this way... I love that drawing. I don't know why, I really like it. If... Hmm, a stack of pictures. Um... Wait, hang on, I'm just thinking. The pedals do one of two things. They either electrocute Jacques, if I remember correctly. This looks like it might do something interesting. <laughs> Ouch! That looked unpleasant. Do you even do that? And then the other one feeds him a banana. So. If you go back again and press the bell, he should change the picture. So... Yes! Sorry, I was just trying to think what we need to do. 
Then if you press this pedal Let's here, give him a banana. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, banana god. Banana. Banana. So look at the picture. A lovely little consideration about it. Cool. And then if you press shock pedal. Sorry. Cool. Right, so. Oh, hang on, hang on. Right. Grab that one. Alright, feet. Make yourselves useful. Alright. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Right. Oh shit. Wrong way! This way. Go back. I don't know how you're actually changing the position of the chair while you're lying in it, but whatever. Whoops. I meant to do that. Cool. And then press the bell. Cool. Skeleton hand. So now. Oh! No. Wrong. Down. Down. Yeah, it's a banana pedal. So I'll go over to the skeleton's hand. Shock pedal. Wow, an electromagnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. That's <laughs> standard. Wow, he seems excited about something. Cool. All right. Bell. Of the pirate. Now you give him a nana. And he should give you the key. That's it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha. Now, to work the key into the lock. I, I, I love how they don't cut to it, because obviously they're like, uh, it's illogical, there's no way you'll be able to do that. Aww. Monsieur Swipwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Leaving their trash floating all over the place. Hmm. A parrot hunter, eh? Soon. Right, cool. God, he made up some new unicorns pretty bloody quick. Right, so, if you... In fact, we can even tease him right here and use it right in front of him. Ha 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 Elaine, here I come. Or um, maybe not. Cool. Ah, that's why you talk to McGee. I see. I see. Right. We go talk to him. Hey there. What do you want? Now? What do you want? Now? Um. There we go. Can I see your ancient scroll? Hey, not Skippy. Some two-bit witch stole it from me in a poker game a few months ago. Won't do any good without my eye of the manatee, though. Keen. Can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's hangnails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long-dead civilization? Um... It'll honk off the... Okay, I'm try that. If DeSinge does have it in for you, I might be able to use it to wreak some sort of piratey revenge on him. Uh, fine. It's very easy Don't to persuade. Anymore, anyhow. It's a broken down man. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Cool. Awesome! So now we've got another map or thingy. Is that the right one? Yeah, that is the right one. Whew. 
now. Mm, this looks promising. Yeah. So this obviously is it's like a combination of all the things. Um uh of like all the things we've already done. So there's uh icons of where we need to go, sounds, and now we've got winds as well. So it's like the ultimate map. So right, into the jungle.